I suppose. All right, we'll let you out. Just this one. <laughs> I feel like a dog. Oh, very big lumps. I think that was just before I came out. I recognise it. That was yesterday's lunch. So, where are we and who are you? I am a member of the Quackers and we are poised here looking at the first and second stage of Cumberland's sewage treatment lagoons just behind the laundry. Hmm. And right in front of us here, what would this be? This is where the um, first of the effluent emerges and is uh, put through these aeration pumps to aerate it to start the decomposition process. And so the primary treatment is where the larger lumps are broken down into smaller. It's a settling. And then it goes into the second one, which is primarily, or well, quite secondarily, more to do with settling. And usually we can see wildlife here, but they've chosen not to be here today. When we were here with the TV, they had all sorts, didn't they? And you, sir? I'm Ron. And I'm looking at the secondary uh, pond out here, which, uh, when the water leaves this uh, primary one, is moved into the secondary one, and it's a settling pond, and uh, where the larger lumps settle out. And it takes, I think, some years for it to settle enough material that it needs to be uh, dug out lasts a long time. Hmm. But we'd like to see tertiary treatment, a third phase. And that would be a constructed wetland, which is beyond uh, this secondary pond. It's a 65 acre uh, marshland that is uh, a natural marsh, although it does have a a stream that was dug out as a ditch through it, but it is a, it has a number of features that are very natural, like uh, the vegetation that's in there and a pine bog with uh, some very old pine trees, uh, four or five hundred year old pine trees. Approximately how large is this uh, wetland area? About 65 acres. Mm -hmm. Certainly big enough to create a, uh, a wetland with the vegetation that will uh, remove the heavy metals from water and uh, some other chemicals like phosphorus that is bad for fish. Now, earlier you expressed some concerns about um, a cleaning plant here. Oh yeah, right uh, next to us, uh, adjacent to that car up there, is a regional hospital laundry. And uh, it is run by a society of uh, representatives uh, of uh, various hospitals. Uh, and uh, laundry co that comes from hospitals uh, sometimes mm -hmm. is uh, uh, pretty nasty stuff because it has uh, blood and 
maybe needles and who knows what in it. And so there's pretty heavy detergents uh, used to clean the laundry. And we have some questions about the effluent from this laundry and where it goes. It probably goes into this big concrete box and then it's pumped out into the primary treatment zone here which has the aerators in it, the pond with the aerators. So we're not sure, but we're going to find out who is responsible for the uh, this uh, testing this effluent to see what's in it, whether there are chemicals that uh, we and or the uh, Ministry of Health or of the of Ministry of the Environment would approve of. We don't know that, but we're going to find out. Speak. Do I have both hoods on? I do. What have you discovered? Well, uh, this looks like an old willow that they took down. It's one of these, which, you know, are growing as yeah. we speak. So they're just this doing their little fresh. farming thing. They brought mm -hmm. it down and they obviously ate the brand, ate are the, enjoying the bark, the bark right. cleaning the bark off. They Where would they live? a lodge in here close by. It looks to me like they're maybe thinking of doing a damming project or something. See, if they yeah. dam this up, they would oh, have yeah. a good spot here. They would all cover. Yeah, that's beaver man. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Nice little spot, eh? Mm -hmm. There's lots of that willows here. Did you know that willow bark is, um, very medicinal. Well, it's very good for uh, as the uh, starter. Huh? If you take it's a so bunch vital. Of pieces of willow and put them in a bucket of water, and then you want to start other right. trees and shrubs. So it puts out that hormone. Yeah, it puts out the hormone. Well, I know that um, it's a, it's supposed to be very good for uh, fever. Really? Yeah.